Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tatiana and you can call me Stacks. If this is your first time seeing me on your screen, hello, how are you? Leave me a comment down below telling me how you found me. But without any further ado, let's just jump right into the story. If you clicked on the title, then you already know what today's video is going to be on. And this is a story about how I got fired from Popeyes. Okay? Ah! This happened like literally yesterday. So... While it's still fresh in my brain, I'm gonna let y'all know. And yeah, I'm not mad, I'm not sad, I'm not angry. I don't feel any type of way towards it because it was gonna come to an end anyway. I was already looking for other jobs. I was already putting in applications, so it's okay. And I'm in a position to where it's not gonna affect any of my finances. I have plenty of other talents and things that I can do besides selling chicken for people who don't even care about you all day. So. Let's just get straight into the video. Make sure you leave a comment down below telling me if you liked it. If you enjoyed it, leave a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button because it's free and you'll never miss another video from me. That was, a, that was bars if y'all didn't catch it. So, the day started like every other day does. Yesterday was Sunday. So I went to work. I was going to be on prep. On prep, you're really just making... Your job is to make sure that all the side items are stocked throughout the day. So that means like... Yeah, no, Popeyes. Red beans and rice, mashed potatoes, corn, green beans, Cajun rice, coleslaw. It's my job to keep those things at a steady level so that, you know, we don't run out of it. Now... On Sundays, we tend to run out of things because it's the end of the week and the truck doesn't come in until Monday. So I ran out of um, almost red beans. I ran out of uh, a few things, but that has nothing to do with how I got fired. So we had a training manager, and our store is a training store. So we had a training manager come in at 8 that day, and it was another manager who was supposed to come in at 11. I know this because I take a picture of their schedule as well as mine because I like to be prepared for who I'm gonna see the next day, right? So it was one of our training managers and it was one of our other managers who at one point demoted himself to become a crew member and just to become back a manager, but he was supposed to go pick up product so that way when we opened, we would have more than what we had because we didn't have a lot. We was just gonna go borrow some stuff from another store, but the training manager got a lot going on like the one i was in training it, it was her last day of training she has a lot going on so long story short we had to go get her car i was the only person there with a car to help her go get her car right so why wouldn't i help her get her car if managers send me to do all kinds of stuff that has nothing to do with popeyes any other time so why can't i help her y'all sent me to the bank to go get money and i'm not supposed to y'all sent me to the store to go get this and i'm not supposed to so i figured me taking her to go get her car is not a big deal right i'm assuming that she already talked to the gm so why would i call the gm like hey they talk to you blah 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 because she's been on her phone all day so why would i why would I think that she didn't talk to the general manager, right? I thought she knew everything that was going on. So I take her to go try and pick up her car. We get to the first place, which was 15 minutes away. Me driving, it took like 10 minutes. But we get there and... 20 minutes later. She can't get her car. It's at the lot. She cannot get her car without a release form and without her registration. <laughs> That just made the job so much harder. So, at that point, it was already, we left around 10. Left the job around 10. At that point, it was like 10.30. I'm like, okay, I know they're running out of mashed potatoes. And this is how the fridge is stocked. You can put up to four red rice, up to four mashed potatoes. I mean, up to four red rice, up to four green beans, up to four Cajun rice, and six mashed potatoes in the fridge you could put three red beans three gravy and a bunch of corn at the bottom right that's the way the steam fridge is set up i put them in four red rice three green beans three cajun rice and three mashed potatoes i'm pretty sure at 10 30 they only had one mashed potato left 
and only one other person knew how to make mashed potatoes which is the other manager that was there that was supposed to go get product but didn't because she had to go get her car so yeah I drop her off at the first spot she's like okay cool i'm gonna be great you could go back to work i'm like okay cool i could go back to work i'm not gonna get in no trouble ain't nobody gonna find out nothing as soon as i pull out of the lot so maybe i get up to the light 12 seconds later tati phone call tati she says she needs you to come back and go get her i'm like are y'all serious i was on my way to work but okay so i go back and get her y'all told me to go get her so i'm gonna go get her right if i, if I ain't never called my phone i would have been already back at work by 11 o'clock anyway so she told me the other manager let's call him mike and let's call her katie katie told me that mike said it was okay for us to handle all this to get her car and then just come back to work and it wouldn't be a big deal we'll continue with our day so at that point i'm like okay so if he's telling you to handle everything with your car then that must mean it's okay up there they're good they're fine nothing's going wrong handle everything with your car and then come back to work and then something inside me was like tatiana you know damn well this is a setup it's a trap it's a trap it's a trap you're gonna lose your job go back to work go back to work but I didn't um i continued to help her get her car in around one because we've been gone for hours hours i'm pretty sure everything i put in there is gone at this point around one o'clock my phone started ringing and we were on the way to the fulton county jail and we were going to pick up product for the like it was just a lot of stuff going on so my general manager called my phone and i looked back at the girl that's in the car with me like why is she calling my phone if anything she needs to be calling your phone so i text her i'm like i'm driving like i need my gps i can't not have my gps be on the phone with you to my ear and all no i'm driving so unless you can wait until i get to a point where i'm not driving to where i can call you then i will call you she's not reading any of these text messages she's still blowing my phone up so she hit me with a text i'm gonna put it in right over here because i don't even care if you're not back at my store in five minutes you no longer work there well i guess i no longer work there baby girl because i'm like 35 minutes away like how do you expect me to get back there in five minutes if i'm 35 minutes away one and two you don't even know what's going on all you know is that i'm not at work like i mean with katie you think i want to go get drinks and eat with this girl like we friends we kiki ka 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 ha 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 and shit for food like no i don't even like this girl like that but she needed help so i helped her i know how it is to not have help and be in a situation where you're like dang can't nobody really help me and i was just like i'm gonna help her out so her general manager proceeds to call katie on the phone because i'm not answering my phone at this point and it's like, I'm driving. I'm not about to risk my life for you, okay? Um, So you hear the GM on the phone with Katie and Katie in the back seat. Katie is almost in tears on the phone with the GM because Katie has kids and Katie has a lot going on and Katie has probation. And and katie has rent and her phone bill and car note and katie just got a lot going on. just asking our gm for her job almost crying and i'm not about to do that if you tell me i'm fired i'm fired i'm not about to come up to nowhere and kiss no ass and say this that and the third i feel like as a gm a general manager of your store you are the head of your store if there's a problem you should come to a person one-on-one -on -one and be like hey Tell me exactly what happened. Tell me your side. Tell me what you knew. Tell me everything. And then I'll go talk to this person and that person and that person and get their sides and put it all together so I'm aware of everything and then make a decision from there. Because after all of that was said and done, you go and text me saying, oh, can you call me? I knew nothing at all. 
I ain't finna call you. You said I'm fired, so I'm fired. What I need to come back up there for? It's nothing to talk about. I was hoping that girl get her car for like three hours. It, it took a really long time, but she got her car. So, yeah. I would have went back to work after the fact, but it's like, you told me that I'm fired. So, hopefully they can figure out how to run that Popeyes by themselves without me because I put a lot of muscle power into that store. I make things go smoothly. I was a crew trainer. So it was my job to train managers, regular employees, people coming in to be general managers, shift leads. Like I literally trained everybody. I show you how to take orders, show you how to use the register, show you how to make sides, show you how to communicate in a way that we all communicate to where it makes sense and yeah. Can I get a three piece with fries and mashed potatoes and with gravy on the side? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, Spicer. Yes, sir. Move, move, move. What do you want? What do you want? I just want a three piece with fries. <laughs> God damn, spice your mom. Spicy. Here. Damn, go on. Shit, this is not even my order. This is it, it don't matter. Get out of here. Can I at least get some sauce? We don't have no more sauce. Shit. It's right there, though. It's not for you. Get your bitch ass up out of my plan. You need to come on! Just put the chicken in the box. Man, this ain't no five star restaurant. This is Papa. Pick it up with your hand. Man, what are you? You cut over here using tongues and shit. Get out of here, you cut! People there who have zero work ethic, and mine's on like 10, and we were getting paid the same, so it's, it's okay. It's like, I'm not mad. The only thing is that when I get another job, it's, I want it to be every week. That's the best thing about Papa is that they get paid every week. Like, that's the best thing. Other than that, it's like every other nine to five. And at this point, I'm just gonna do what I wanna do. I'm gonna start doing other people's locks, other people's hair, other people's makeup, um, other things that I like to do because nine to fives just aren't for me. And I discovered that out a long time ago, but it's okay because I always figure stuff out. I'm never gonna be stuck in a rut for a long time. I make things work. And I'm pretty sure Popeyes is going to be calling my phone in the middle of the week because that's what they do. They fire people and then they realize they need them and they try to call them back. But guess what, baby? You can't have me back. Period. You can't have me back. At all. And see, my hair is getting kind of long. I got my E back in my hair. You know, I got to go get some more of these because they're really cute. But that is all. I'm going to smoke my little piece now and... Uh, do some other stuff because now I'm a housewife and I have plenty of time on my hands. Oh, by the way, guys, I'm gonna be having um, I'm gonna make a family channel really soon. Me, Daddy, and Titus, me and my man and Titus, and yeah, go see what we do on a daily basis when we go out, when we have our little arguments with Titus when he's in trouble. He has a pretty bad attitude problem and he thinks he runs things, but he doesn't. Um yeah all the good stuff so if you're interested in that i'll have the link to the channel down below so you could just subscribe already and then we'll upload some videos coming really 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 soon but if you enjoyed this video so far hit the like button down below give it a thumbs up subscribe tell a friend and tell a friend and i'll see you later okay okay bye